Hey everyone, I'm here to show you how to style the perfect mullet. I'm here in my salon, well, just kidding, in my house, sitting on the floor, with a cool virtual background. So we're gonna start off making a few styles of mullet today. I've got a few tools, a comb, some bobby pins, hair tie, this, this is business. And I looked for some hairspray in the house, but all I could find was um, some hair spritz from the health food shop, which probably is not that bogan, but get some hairspray, or a lot of hairspray. And I'll do the first, the easiest one straight up. So what you're gonna do is just scoop all of this back for like a half up, half down style. The beauty of Zoom, oh, get a hair tie. Stick it in. The beauty of Zoom is you're not gonna have anyone looking at the back here. So, you can fake it a little bit. Then I'm gonna tease this old fringe up a bit up here. So there's quite a few styles I've seen. Some are straight. Pull back is also an option. You could do like the messy pullback. Anyway, you play around with that. You do you, right? I think I like this where it's a bit buff on top. I think it gives me the best kind of look. Once you've got that, you can either leave it plain or you can slip on some fashion. So there you have it. Right. The next style I've got to show you, you just clip the sides back with some old bobby pins. If you want to get fancy, you could do a twist. But my mullet style is pretty rough and ready. So I'm just going to stick some of these in. Just around the ear level so that you've still got that nice bit of texture coming from the back. This is what I'm talking about, this bit here. No, I haven't done the grey hairs for Bogan Bingo, they're real. They're ISO grey hairs. Um, haven't been to my real hairdresser in a while. Looking forward to getting back soon. So I've still got the bush fringe and I can do the same. Either take it back, I can um, give it a spritz. God. Stick it up there and you've got that look. You can make it as tucked back or as sticky out as possible. The other option is to bring some of the hair to the back and only have a bit coming forward like this. Then you can add your cap or your beanie or whatever or leave a plain Jane. My last style was more like a braided look. I don't really think I'm very good at doing this so I don't need any haters. Tie some back. You want to get three pieces. Like this. And then you plait it, but you pull bits in from around it to keep it held to the other hair. And then when you're finished, you can only, you can just use one bobby pin. So unlike the other styles, you don't need to use lots of bobby pins. Whatever you've got, pipe cleaner, whatever. I don't know. All right, so I better get this bad boy into action. For this particular style, I've left this thing on the end because I feel like it's more serious. Hope to see you at Bogomingo on Saturday, the 16th of May at 7.30. Show starts at 8. Don't be late.